Central Bank of Egypt has announced that banks operating in Egypt will be closed from Tuesday 9th of April to Sunday 14th of April to celebrate Eid al-Fitr. This year Ramadan in Egypt and other countries lasted 30 days with Eid al-Fitr starting Wednesday. The three-day Eid al-Fitr is one of the two religious holidays in Islam along with the four-day Eid al-Adha which falls on the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah, the 12th month of the Islamic calendar. A low-pressure system hit Egypt this week, bringing with it decrease in temperatures by 2-3 to, to 4 degrees Celsius across most parts of the country along with cold air masses during night time, giving a winter-like feel, a perfect temperature for Raid al-Fitr. The Egyptian Meteorological Authority said that on Tuesday, in the northern regions of the country and some areas in Greater Cairo will witness light to moderate rains in parts of northern Upper Egypt. These conditions will persist through Wednesday with improvement expected starting from Thursday. Cairo and Nile Delta will see highs of 28 degrees and lows of 15 throughout the weekdays. Welcome back. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Engineer Mustafa Nageri, the Deputy Head of the Exporters Association. Engineer Mustafa, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Very happy I eat to you and all your loved ones, Engineer Mustafa. Uh, thank you so much. Same to you, and I, uh, of course, extend all uh, good celebrations for all Muslims all over the world, not only in Egypt, and also our brothers in Gaza. I ask God to uh, uh, cover them with peace and goodness. Absolutely, Engineer Mustafa. Now, of course, as Aid is just around the corner, many uh, people are planning and looking how to plan and prepare to celebrate this important occasion. Of course, throughout the holy month of Ramadan, we've had uh, lots of uh, feasting, lots of uh, friends and family over, etc. There's been quite a push for commodities, specifically food uh, commodities. Yeah. How do you see, yeah, uh, over the last month, the availability of all the necessities uh, for the Egyptian citizen, as well as now with Aid just around the corner again, uh, a push to keep all commodities available for uh, citizens. And as we all know that in uh, Egypt is having a, a very special and unique uh, features yes. of uh, celebrating the Eid. And of course, as we say, consumption of food is, is uh, getting to the higher level at these days, especially for sweets. And we are, of course, famous for our uh, uh, I eat cakes, which most of the families they would like to share and to, to exchange while they are uh, uh, spending Visiting. the whole uh, three days of the feast. Yes. Uh, but of course, the government, <laughs> I mean, uh, have did well, uh, starting from the day of, uh, uh, as we say, floating the Egyptian currency and mm -hmm. the closing uh, the gap between the free market and the, the official market for exchange rates. And starting from this point, uh, really, it was a very good start to try to attract many, as many as possible of the foreign currencies, which have helped to release uh, uh, most of the commodities or all the commodities still remaining, some quantities, but not delivered uh, uh, to, to uh, inside, according to some, uh, we call it commercial problems between suppliers and receivers, but in general, uh, more than 95% of the commodities which were in the ports already were driven to the factories mm. and all the factories are in 100% uh, full power process and we can see that the prices of the food started to decline between 5 to 10% and uh, I can tell that this is the first time uh, to have uh, two opposite uh, 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 actions in the market. The first is that the prices are declining yes. while the government, yes, they have increased the minimum wage rate uh, to 6,000 pounds, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which really it gives a, a sort of a stability for the market of commodities in <coughs> Egypt. <coughs> Indeed, Engineer Mustafa, as you said, uh, there has been efforts done by the Egyptian government to uh, make sure that the provision of all the necessary commodities uh, are available, especially during the holy month and in preparation for Eid. And of course, another issue is that of food security in light of the global challenges, you know, that the whole world is going through with regards to the issue of uh, food security. How far do you see Egypt coming in this regard, Engineer Mustafa? 
Um, I can tell that uh, we are always um, uh, looking for uh, uh, environment for investment in Egypt, yes. which I think it took place uh, recently, and we, we have seen that, you know, we, as we, we call that uh, Ras al Hekma is now uh, uh, the pearl of the of the of the uh, of the of the Taj. So uh, at the end, uh, yesterday we were talking about the improvement of the infrastructures, which have led the government to uh, proceed for more than 40 new cities, and this is really giving a sort of stability for our market. Mm -hmm. For uh, the challenges, which uh, you know is from day or another is coming uh, uh, from outside according to the geopolitical <coughs> problems. Mm. I think that Egypt is always in the middle of the way for everybody. We are having a great experience in uh, uh, such a crisis and we have been to wars and after that to peace. And at the end, the country is very positive. We are in a mega project to increase our planted area uh, uh, to 12 million acres put Egypt in not only in a, in a, in a national uh, 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 role, but also uh, we always play international role because there is a food crisis all over the world and Egypt is trying to play a big role internationally as well. Absolutely, Engineer Mustafa. Also, another issue uh, that uh, you also mentioned, uh, the issue of uh, being prepared. And Egypt has really worked hard with regards to industrialization. Egypt has uh, come uh, many, many steps forward in this regard, the development of the industrial sector, moving away from just raw materials to the actual industrialization production uh, on the ground. How important do you see this uh, with regards to the economic development in the country? Of course, uh, you know, there have been a lot of contacts during the second half of Ramadan between the industrial sector and the government. Mm -hmm. And at the end, it has uh, uh, led to uh, some uh, initiative, financial initiative for the sector. As we know that the interest rate in the uh, central bank is higher and as per the agreement with the um, IMF and all the financial, international financial sectors, that there not, should not be any difference in the interest rate inside the local market. But the government have played a good role and with the help of the industrial people in the uh, Federation of Egyptian Industries and the uh, uh, Federation of Chamber of Commerce, they came to agreement for a specific uh, sort of uh, financial uh, initiatives which will always give a push for the industry at this uh, certain time. Mm -hmm. So I think the government is playing a role they always say that they will be a player in the market at the, at the times of the huge exchanges, which is a big role for the government <laughs> to try to uh, uh, facilitate the situation for the importers and the exporters and the manufacturers, and at the end, which will lead to try to ease the prices down for the local consumption and give a better chance for exports. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Right. Finally, uh, Engineer Mustafa, I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, in light of the economic hardship and challenges that we've seen, how do you see, you know, the purchasing power, uh, especially when it comes to occasions like Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr? Um, I, I, of course, uh, Ramadan is, is always a, a month for uh, uh, blessings and uh, everybody is trying to be quiet and and uh, not in a panic but mm -hmm. i think that the uh, ramadan months have passed uh, very wisely and uh, the only <coughs> thing which was harming our feelings is what is happening in gaza yes uh, but on the other side uh, of course uh, we have seen that uh, all the whole world is now at the side of uh, uh, seizing the fire there and I wish that the, these days, the blessing days, could give a sort of meaning how people should live in peace. So we are all uh, praying to God that situation would be much more safer and uh, uh, goodness for our people in Gaza. Absolutely. Right. I'd like to thank you very, very much. Engineer Mustafa Nagari, the Deputy Head of the Exporters Association. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and your insight on today's edition of Cairo Local Time. A short break and we'll be right back for more.
Do stay tuned.